Hey, sleep warrior. When you think about treating sleep apnea, the idea of using a drug or a pill might raise some eyebrows. After all, sleep apnea is primarily a mechanical problem. How can a pill keep our airways open during the night? So despite my initial skepticism, I'm genuinely excited about the emerging data on AD109, a new medication that's currently under investigation. So let's dive in. As many of you know, CPAP therapy, while effective, is not universally tolerated. And let's be honest, even among those who do tolerate it, it's not always liked. So with a significant number of people still going untreated each year, we need to do better. That's why exploring new treatment options is crucial for our field. AD109 represents a novel approach. It's a medication designed to stimulate the nerves that control the muscles, keeping our airway open while we sleep. And by activating these nerves, the medication aims to maintain a clear airway throughout the night, potentially reducing the severity of sleep apnea. It combines two medications into a nasal spray format, a decongestant and a muscle relaxant targeting the muscles that collapse the upper airway. It's designed to decrease the physical obstructions that cause sleep apnea by minimizing nasal congestion and relaxing these muscles that block the airway during sleep. So the research study named Mariposa assessed the efficacy and safety of AD109 in adults with moderate to severe sleep apnea. The results were quite promising. AD109 significantly reduced the number of apnea events per hour of sleep compared to a placebo by about 45%. Participants also reported improved sleep quality, reduced daytime sleepiness, and an enhanced overall quality of life. So these benefits could be life-changing for those who struggle with CPAP machines. Though some did experience mild nasal discomfort and an unpleasant taste, these side effects were generally mild. So for those who are intrigued by this new treatment and wondering about participation in ongoing research, more information is available at the ApneaMed website at www.apneamed.com, where you can learn more about the study and how you might get involved. So while the initial results from the Mariposa study are promising, it's important to remember that the path from research to reality can be lengthy. Clinical trials are thorough and meticulous by design, ensuring that new treatments are both effective and safe for widespread use. If AD109 continues to show promise in its subsequent trials, we are still looking at a timeline that would extend to 2026 or later before it becomes available to the public. So don't put your CPAPs away just yet. Patience is the key in development of these new medical treatments. Thanks so much for being here. I will see you next week.